On top right here, you have... I'll try not to blink as I say this. On the top right, you have my brain signals. On the left is Flappy Bird, and when I blink, it flaps. Let's see how I do. I ran into quite a few problems at first. Like, sometimes I would blink and it wouldn't flap. Sometimes it would flap without me blinking. I like I didn't blink, but it still crashed. And sometimes if I blinked, it would flap twice in a row. Every time this happened, I had to go calibrate the thresholds that were detecting my brain signal. And I did this a lot. Okay, it's definitely double, it's definitely double blinking. I'm gonna lower the threshold just a bit, one more time. We're gonna raise our threshold and blink even harder. And it took a long time before I was able to get anything that actually worked consistently. I was beginning to think it was impossible, but finally, I made some progress. Come on! It felt like the first moment where I actually had control of Flappy Bird with my brain, and that motivated me to keep going. But it turns out it might have been a fluke because it took me a long time before I was able to make progress again. Okay, the worst part about this is that I feel like this is my lack of skill and not actually anything else. I actually sat here, no joke, for two hours trying to get this to work. I've probably been here for a long time. <laughs> I started to try some new methods because it was hard to blink and see what was going on. At first I started counting. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I thought getting a rhythm would help, but that's not the way this game works. And then I tried winking so that I could still see, and it worked a bit at first. Oh my god, I feel like I have so much more control. More but control. ultimately, it didn't get me what I needed. Never mind. And then I started getting a bit frustrated. I forgot that this game's just literally hard, even with a keyboard, let alone my brain. Oh my. This is actually so frustrating. Is this a skill issue? Is this me? This is actually driving me insane. After a while though, I found a new method that worked better. And that was pretending that I was hitting the space bar with my finger and blinking at the same time. Okay, this is actually, I might've found it. And then this happened. That's the highest score yet. This felt really good and felt like actual proof that I was able to control the game with my brain. And so I decided if I can beat my high score one more time, I would be satisfied. But of course, it would be a long time until I would have another breakthrough. I knew that the only way to do this was to actually calibrate and stop guessing which thresholds meant a blink. So I made a script that would ask me to sit still for 8 seconds without blinking and then ask me to blink 15 times and calculate the difference so that we can figure out the actual thresholds at which I am blinking. After doing this, I was feeling pretty confident. This is it. You know the drill, it took me a while to make it to the next one, but I was not going to give up because I knew that this video would be super lame if I didn't make it to that next high score. And so I kept trying and I kept trying and eventually this happened. That was my best run yet! I have a confession to make. I said that my goal was to reach a high score of 4. That was a lie. My actual high score I set out to reach when I started this was 100. I don't know why. There is no way I could have done 100. And I ended up rage quitting because I've been doing this for about 8 hours. I'm done. I'm done.
I'm sorry I lied to you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you can actually let me know games that might be more appropriate for my brain. If you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, because one day I want a plaque on my wall. I hope you go outside, and I hope you spend time with your loved ones. Bye!